All right, in this video, I'll show you uh, how you can manipulate ex mode command without getting inside Vim. Okay, so without further ado, let me open a terminal. I've opened it. Okay, so for instance, I want to write something inside the file and I don't want to get inside Vim. Uh, I wanted to do it automatically, okay? Once it is done, it's done, and then I'll use it in some other way. Think of it, it is one of the automated way of doing some stuff, which I have done in several other cases that I'll show you in the in, the, in this video later. But to do that, uh, Veeam has a, uh, Veeam has a uh, flag hyphen C, which will allow you to provide the provide the ex mode command to run along with it while it start okay so in first example because we are running on a uh, running with normal mode command so we have to write normal then we will do insert capital i for insert right i have a abbreviation inside vmrc which will expand to time and date once i put that abbreviation inside in insert mode in vim which will expand to time and date that is tts that is the abbreviation i have in my vmrc okay the i'll sh then we'll will quit okay then because we don't want to get inside the vim we'll just write and quit and we give a name whatever okay so basically it is calling uh it is providing without getting inside vim insert a abbreviation in insert mode that's why this capital i stands for okay and then we will quit saving the file that is the whatever okay if i press enter see it's done now if i cat it out see there is a there is a timestamp inside the file okay so another example so if i want to read some file right we are supposedly in in insert mode and we are reading a file say for a random file from my home folder okay so again we are quitting once we write and quit and just give it a name so okay the file name will be anything so in this case we'll be reading a file content from a from my home directory inside the vim file so okay or you can give it a any name testing right whatever so if i press enter see it's done now cat testing see the content of that particular file this file automatically get inserted to this file look at the name of this file okay so it's a super handy way to automate stuff i mean rudimentary stuff like this without getting inside vim it does allow you to provide it provide you the c flag to provide the ex mode command okay so if you do see okay so this is what we, we are Doing. now I have few implementation of it it might be ugly 
but it does the work for me okay and these scripts are not exposed to the public because it's laughably badly written anyway it does the job for me let me show you there is something in hacker news headline script i have covered in my previous video one of the script is and instead of coming here how about showing it there okay so you can see i'm trying to get this particular line in insert mode to get this stuff get inserted the 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 hn show headline then the left bracket okay then again i'm trying to substitute this with this globally inside the file uh, there is other stuff happen so this is the final step before it produce this file which will display me the hacker news headline now this is substituting this stuff angle bracket then this is substituting the this angle bracket this is substituting the apostrophe in the headline okay. these are the ugly tricks but i have combined it in a in a in a script along with other script which will produce the end result will produce me the a uh, top 10 headlines of hacker news that i have covered in my previous i mean one of my videos if you check out the backlog you can find it out so the point is here that you can use this kind of stuff or i'm just showing you as a guideline you can use the ex mode command to your benefit to to get the stuff you are you are uh working right to without getting inside a inside vim so it will be super easy so i these are the basically formatting commands these are the kind of editing commands which we are supposed to do inside vim if if we feel the urge or need to do something on the content the file already have right the file already have if we don't want to do that and if we want to do it at once in a some sort of automated way so this is how you can pass your stuff along the line okay and i terminated with saved and quit okay so i have similar stuff um for yeah the same thing similar kind of stuff i have used for lw and headline too so simple stuff because it is so predictable for me to get what is coming where so i can easily easily measure it down right with this i'm just showing is these things to you just to give you an an idea that you could use it for lot of stuff you want to do it do it in a quick fashion without getting into the editor right so at so you can infuse that stuff to other other thing which will produce the result as i shown to you my my hacker news and lwn headlines get fitted and modified with those quick ex prompt stuff which i haven't have to do by hand right so i do it at once and it run and it produce me the result simple right so it's a super handy way to to get things done right so i hope it is useful to uh some people so you can start using this okay thanks for watching